We are waiting. I have any pray for us. Louder, please. I am you are no longer praying. Let's pack a tea pray for us. Pack a tea pray for us, please. In Jesus' name, Amen. Most I got King of Glory. Thank you for bringing us to Father, we ask that whatever the teacher is going to teach us, may we understand in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So, how are you today? Amen. Okay. Uh, last week, we started a topic on um, title, topic titled Who Frida's Correction Sign? Can you remember? Who Frida Correction Sign? Also known as, um, sorry, Printer's Correction Sign. Printer's Correction Sign. Also known as what? Proofreader's Mark. Can you remember? Hmm? Yes, Okay. And I gave you an assignment on that. <coughs> Quickly before we go, what's proofreading? Who can tell us what's proofreading? Uh, boy, you say you are not around. Allah body you are around. What is proofreading? I'm not around. You are not around too. And you didn't bother to ask for the notes. Okay. Then let um Jonathan. Jonathan, tell us what is proofreading. That was the topic for last week. What is proofreading? Oh yeah, David, help him. David, help him. My proofreading is when the proofreader checks for mistakes in text. Okay, that's good. So your assignment, some of you did not submit your assignment to. You know oh, yourself. No, I, I don't want to call names now. You did not submit your assignment last week. Last week assignment, I, I, the, um, um, number one was um, define proofreading. Then number two, list and explain five proofreader sign. Can you remember? Jonathan and David, is that the assignment? No. Sorry? That was the assignment. Okay, what yes, was the assignment? Yeah? What was the assignment? Ma, define proofreader's mark and list and 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 what? But you did not submit the assignment. Okay, did you did you do it? Did you do the assignment? Yes, ma. You submitted it to my yes, email. No. Are you sure? I didn't see it all. Ma. Ma, I don't to your, your email. Okay. Please do it. Do the assignment and submit it. My assignment is not piling, just few of you that attend my assignment, that normally attend my assignment. Please answer it and send it to me so I can mark it and send it back to you. Okay? 
Okay, quickly, let's go to today's topic. Today's class is going to be on a practical uh, class. It's a practical class. We'll be looking at... We'll be looking at the topic keyboarding, keyboarding as a uh, communication tool. Okay? Keyboarding as a communication tool. You know, we did keyboarding in SS1. Can you remember? We did keyboarding in GSS1. So we are going to continue from there. So we're going to be looking at speed development and accuracy. Speed development and accuracy skill. Okay? So that's what I said is a practical class. So at the end of this class, you are supposed to uh, practice some of the things we are going to be teaching you this morning on your own. If you're in school now, we'll have gone to type in pool, where everybody will be entitled to a typewriter, or go to a computer lab, where you'll be entitled to a uh, computer. But I know you have computer at home, so you can practice with that, okay? So shall we be looking at, shall we be looking at typing skill? How do we improve our typing skill? Steps in improving no, our typing skills. It. The steps we admit, I mean, we use in improving our typing skill. Then we are going to drill ourselves on alphabetic sentence drill. Alphabet alphabetic sentence drill. Then we move on to one line sentence drill. Okay? Then accuracy and speed. Do you hear that they have? Do you? Are you following? Okay. So typing is a skill that is used in many career paths. These days is a um, is internet age. There's no career that one is easy <laughs> that you <laughs> Why are you somebody? That you not use the computer. <laughs> or that you don't come across the computer. Even the way we are in class now. You are using your what? Computer. So it's a skill that is used in many career paths. So improving your speed might be necessary or it is necessary if you want to be more proficient, that is efficient in your what? In your job. So increasing your typing speed is something that can be done on your own or with proper training. Just as I've said earlier on, at the end of this class, You'll be left to do the uh, to practice on your own, but with some guides. Okay. So let's move on. What are the steps? Steps in improving your typing skills. That is what and what must you do if you want your typing skills to work to be improved. That is, want to be more efficient when you are what typing. Number one, correct placement of fingers. Ma, please go back. I should go back to where? Ma, please go back. Okay. This is it, right? Okay. It is where you want. So you need to be very fast. So are you done? So increasing your typing speed is something that can be done on your own or with proper word training. I've explained that. It's what I'm saying. That's what is on your slide. That you can see on the, on the slide. Okay, so quickly, let's move on. Our time is fast, friend. Some of you are just coming now. So it's going to delay us or bring us back. So to improve your typing skill, what and what must you do? Correct placement of fingers. Correct what? Placement of your fingers. What we are saying there is that your fingers, as in, can see me, can you see me now? Must be placed on what we call home roll keys. Home roll. H O M E. H O M E. R O W. That is home roll keys. 
these home row keys are A, S, D, F. Can you remember? We did that in GSS1. Can you remember? Column L, K, J. Can you remember? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Thank you very much. Yes, ma'am. So we are still going to, uh, we will we'll be building on that. Yes. So correct placement of your finger, that is your, uh, your right fingers and your right, uh, left fingers must be placed on that home row key. So it's going to serve as a guide, okay? What we are saying is uh, the fingers in your, on, your left hand, uh, on your left hand as their keys, that is as the keys it controls. Talking about your, what, who can tell me this little finger is called what? This little finger is called what? Are that calling? My Sorry? Pinky. Tell me now. Okay, listen, let me remind your you. Pinky you forgot him. This little finger on your right, left hand is called a pinky finger. It's for A keys. Can you remember? A keys or A alphabet. Okay? Then the other one, the second one is what? It's a ring finger. Ring what? Finger. Is for S key. The third one is what? Middle finger. Is for what? D key. Mm. Why the last one? The, the last small one is a what? Is index finger. It is for what? It is for F a uh, key. Can you remember? Ma, I'm not hearing you. Who is that? Who is not hearing me? Ma is Nima. Ada Kole, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. No, a boy, can you hear me? A boy, can you hear me? Area, yes, can you hear me? Yes, ma. Okay, so if you are not hearing me, check your device, please. Maybe it's from you. So as okay. I was saying, your right arm finger, the small one, the pinky one is for what? Column. After column, we have ring finger, which is for L uh, alphabet. Then the third one is index. Sorry, it's middle finger. It's for K. Why the last one? The index on your right is for what? J. So these are called what? So these are keys. You find them in your what? On your keyboard, A, S, D, F, column L, K, J. They are on the what? They are on the on, um vertical row on your keyboard. If you check it now, you see it there. Vertical rows on your keyboard. They are called what, the home row key. So you have to place your finger on these uh, keys. So you are going to use each of these fingers. What? Each, each, each finger is assigned to what? To a key. That's what we are saying there, the correct placement of your fingers. All these fingers, they are assigned to what? To keys or to alphabets. In other words, you can't use this uh, index finger that is meant for F key to go and do what? To go and type O or to go and uh, use it on, on U key. No, you don't use that. So you have to learn this. We did it in GSS1. Some of you have forgotten. But by God's grace, when you are back in, uh, to, in school, you are going to uh, visit that. So number one, correct placement of your fingers on your home row key. Number two, type with both hands, as this is the best way to ensure a fast typing skill. If you master uh, your fingers with the keys, you find out that you type faster, more than somebody that is using just only one finger to do all the typing, okay? So if you master all your fingers with the uh, appropriate keys, you type faster more than somebody that is just using one finger to do the punching okay then number three get into the habit of sitting with a good posture when you are what typing you sit well you don't sit relaxed that's the way a boy is doing no you can't type comfortably like that you sit well okay you sit firm practice typing as often as possible so that you familiarize from familiarize yourself with the layout of the typing skill. Practice typing as often as possible 
so that you familiarize yourself with the layout of the typing skill. That is, is a thing you do constantly. Don't practice today. Maybe in the next uh, more months, you say you want to practice again. No, you might not do it well that way. You will not be uh, effective or efficient on it. Then the last, lastly, make a point of not looking at the keyboard while you are typing, okay? Don't look at the keyboard when you are typing because let your finger be doing the what? The punching. Let your finger be doing the movement. Let your finger be doing the movement. Okay? So let's move on. So quickly, we are going to uh, alphabetic sentence, uh, sentence drill. Okay, here, yeah, the students are to focus their eyes on the keyboard and familiarize themselves to where the alphabet key are placed. For now, you can look at the keyboard, okay? To know where those, what, those alphabets are. You understand? You practice with it, A, L, D, F. You use A, L, D, F. That is, you use the fingers for each word, alphabet, okay? Now you can do it, okay? So by the time you have familiarized yourself, to all those alphabet, uh, alphabet uh, key, uh, but then you familiarize yourself with them, you know where they are placed on the keyboard, then you cannot practice this. This is for practicing, drill one. Can you see it now? So students are to type the following from their word keyboard. You can't do it now because you are in the class, okay? Are you hearing me? Yes, hmm? You can't do it now because by the time you start um, punching the uh, alphabet now, all the keys, it will tamper with our class. But what you do is uh, quickly write this down. Write it down on your spare time. Oh, yeah, write it now. The way it is written uh, on the slide, write it now fast. Are you writing? A boy. Oh, yeah, start writing. Just quickly write that. So you're going to practice it later on your own. You're going to drill yourself. Have you copied it? Eh? Be fast. Just this alphabet. Just write yes, it the way it is. Uh -huh. It does not make sense. But just for you to practice to know where those alphabets are by using the words, uh, your correct fingers in punching those keys. So quickly write that. So you're going to start your drilling uh, practice with this. You're going to drill yourself with this. It's called alphabetical word, sentence drill. Are you done? Sorry, are you true? Yes, ma'am. So what we are saying is, you practice this at home, okay? You practice this at home. Just to do what? To uh, test yourself or to make you more efficient in your words, in your typing. So when you are done with that, I have a lot of, um, um, notes for you to practice here. So we have another one here too. This consolidation drill. Continuation of the first one. By the time you practice with the first one, this is another one. Let me just read it out. Over. The governor over. frowns at the lazy worker. Ma, should we copy this one? Yes. Yes. 
Copy this one too. You practice with it. With it. The governor frowns at the lazy worker. Full stop. Remember to see them on your way there. You are not hearing me. Just copy it. You are going to practice with this. It's a practical class. But we can't do it now. It will be an assignment for you. Abiola could not meet them in the open. Perhaps he's on his way to the mocks. Banks are sometimes shut on Saturdays. We shall be gone for a month in August. So copy it out and practice with it on your own later in order to improve your typing skills. Okay, ma. Yes. The shop we are selling lots of watches. The garden in my house is rich in pears. Bulama is simple, but his son is tough. Leave all the books consulted for them. So quickly copy this. I can't hear you. I cannot hear you. You don't need to. You can hear me. Okay. So, are we through copying this? Are you through now? Sorry? Okay. That's why I'm waiting. That's why I was keeping quiet. Okay, that was the, that was the uh, second consolidation drill. Let's quickly, let's go to the third one. Consolidation drill three. Excuse me, please. So quickly, um, so I'm going to practice with this too. We raise down the path to the bus stop, full stop. The hospital needs men of good conduct. Shagun, what's your question? No, no, it was an accident. Okay, it was an accident, okay. Thank, Thank you, you. Let's, let's move on. Okay. That is good. Okay, so you are going to practice with these two. Making three now. Share good your you have okay. 
We race down the path to the bus stop. The hospital needs men of these standards. My brother takes my brother takes no interest. My brother takes no interest in sports. A collection of drawing is on display. I do not care for that kind of wapa. Do you mind if the girl does? Do you mind if the girl goes with them? That's a question mark there. Christopher must comply with the order. I should work very hard during the day. Umosu is going to the lecture room now. Put in the very put in the very best and you will work and you will reap. So please copy these two and practice with it. Okay? So by God's grace, by the time we come back to school, we are going to do this together in the typing pool or the computer lab. Okay? Okay, ma. But before then, engage yourself with this at all. Get used to it. Okay? Get used to it. So quickly copy this too. I've copied it already. This is the third one. Yes, ma. Thank you, ma. Are we all done? Are you true? Yes, ma. Okay. No, ma. No, ma. Yes, ma. Okay, it's still there. I'm not taking it away. Hola, buddy. Are you true? Yes, ma. Wow. Akimu Shere, are you true? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So we all, we are true now. Every one of us is true. Mikey, are you true? Yes, ma'am. Ma, please okay. wait. I should wait. Ma, continue. Ma, I can continue. Okay. <sighs> Uh, so I think that is all. I don't want to bore you with so much, uh, uh, with so much uh, things to do. So I've given you like three now. This is the first one. This is alphabetical sentence drill. This is alphabetical sentence drill. Yes, you have to yes. type this on your keyboard. Get familiar to where all those alphabets are on your keyboard. Okay, when you are done with that, you go to consolidation drill two. You practice it on your own. The same thing applied to this consolidation drill three. Okay. So, so evaluation now. Say the step used in improving your typing skill. If you can follow these steps, you find out that your typing will be what easier. Ma. Ma. Yes. Ma, please go back. To where? To the last slide. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes, okay. Yes, are you snapping or you are copying it? You can't copy. I'm snapping. You're snapping. It's not much now. Yes, it's better you listen to me. So it's better you copy it so that it will be by your side when you are practicing it. 
Okay? You look like a manuscript. Give me a manuscript. Sorry? Ma, can you snap the computer so you know? Can I do what? Can we snap the computer so our notebook? Later. Okay, well, I know that is easier for you anyway. Ma, but which do you use computer? Uh, yes. Yes, now. You need a keyboard, so you need computer. Okay. So are we so let's move on now. Are you done? Are you true? Yes, ma. So take the steps used in improving your skill. So we give us one. Michael Igusi, mention one. What ah. are these? Give me one step in improving your typing skill. One step in improving your typing skill. Step, raising up your hand. Any question? Ah. I no, I to answer. Class. Okay, want to answer? Oh, yeah, I'm, li I'm li listening. Ma, place both hands on the keyboard. Place both hands on the keyboard. Where on the keyboard? Where on the keyboard? Ma, on the home row keys. Home row keys. Clap for yourself. Thank you. Aki. Aki Mushere. Mention one. Who is that? Correct placement on the fingers, okay? Okay. Thank you. A boy, mention one. Ma, I didn't get the question. I said mention one steps in improving your key, uh, your your typing skill. Ma, before course. Sorry? Before course. Before course. Okay. Before course. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. For so, uh, some of you that are just joining or you forgotten, stay the steps used in improving your typing skills. These are the steps. So quickly go over it and get used to it. So if you are able to follow these steps, your typing will be very easy. Okay? So what are you, what are you supposed to do first? Correct placement of your fingers on what? On home row key. Number two, Type with both hands, and this is the best way to ensure a what a fast typing skills. Number three, get into the habit of sitting with a good posture when you are what typing. We did uh, good sitting postures when we are in GSS one. Now you sit firmly, you sit straight, your legs firmly on the floor, your elbow by your side. Can you remember all that? Okay, that's what we are saying here. Get into the habit of sitting with a good posture when you are what? Typing. Then your eyes focus on your what? Not on the system, but on your manuscript. Then number four, what are you supposed to do? Practice typing as often as possible so that you familiarize yourself with the layout of the typing skills. That is the most important thing. You practice it as uh, as, soon as, as possible. often as possible. That's the only way. You do it often. When you do things continuously or often, you get used to it and to become part of you. So that's what uh, typing requires. You have to practice it often so that you get used to the skills. Now you know where all those alphabets are. Then you use your right, uh, the right uh, finger in 
stroking or uh, uh, typing the keys. Then number five, make a point. Make a point of not looking at the keyboard while you are what typing. That means you will be looking at what you're typing or the keyboard. Your eyes will be on your manuscript. That is where you are typing from. Are you getting it now? So it's only your fingers that will be doing the what? The punching of those words, of those keys. Any other question? No, ma. Any, any other question? Okay. Mm -hmm. The absence of none. Ma. Yes. Ma. Yes. We're taking to send the notes to us and last week notes. Why? We send last week notes now. No, ma. So your assignment, listen now. The nature of typing demands constant practice. Therefore, you should use your spare time to repeat all the above one line sentence read as many times as possible. As this will what enhance perfection. Okay? Okay. So, in the absence of none, or do we have a question? Is there a question? Question? Ma. Yes. Ma, please, on the assignment, are you going to mark it? I can't mark this. Okay. It's for you to practice with it. I mean, the last assignment. Yes, I'll mark it now. Some of you did not submit. I'm marking it and I'll send it back to you. Did you do your own? No, Mama, I'll submit it today. Please do. Okay. Okay, any other question before we close? Ma, please, what is the question of the assignment of last week? Ma, please, the note of last week. Oh. The question of last week, assignment of last week. Define proofreading. Yes, math. ma. Then list and explain proofread, proof, uh, proofread, proofreading math. I think list and explain five. List and explain five of proofreading math. List and explain five of proofreading mm -hmm. math. That was the assignment for last week. So always copy your notes. That's why we are, I'm, we have the slide here. Please always copy it, okay? Don't be waiting for me to send notes to you. <laughs> always copy it when we are in class, okay? Okay, so we can close now. Shall we pray? Let's pray. Ma, stop, stop, stop now. Ma, please, I miss last week's class. Can I go to send you? This is not because I came for last week's class. Oh, I will try, but if not, maybe get from your friends or we will get back to school. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Can I repeat the assignment again? Define proofreader's mark. Number two, list and explain five proofreader's mark. List and explain. That is just it. Very simple. Okay? That's very simple. So let's pray now. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for today. We give you all praise and we give you all the glory. Thank you for all that you have helped us to learn today. Father, we ask, give us retentive memory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy Spirit, we thank you, Lord, for being with us today. Say your name in praise forever. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. So goodbye. Stay Amen. safe and God bless you.